All right, I'm here to show you our new collapse truck, Collapse 10, which we use for building shoring when vehicles crash into buildings. And we can use it for other things such as heavy extrications involving trucks, uh, trench collapse. Come down, come down, come down. Now. And wherever we think we may need large amounts of shoring and support. You wanna start getting that next one ready? So the collapse truck carries a lot of lumber for, the, for shoring operations. Um, we'll take and use any of this lumber we need, depending on what, what we're shoring up, to build various shores. This is an example of one of them, just an inline shore. All right, so all of our lumber in here that we use for those shores, obviously we have to cut it all. We don't order any of it pre-cut because we don't know what size we're gonna need. So we've got saws to cut it. Initially, when we get to a scene, um, before we cut lumber, because that takes a little bit of time, we have what we call Paratech struts. So we'll actually pull these off and set up a temporary shoring that we'll go back and replace with the lumber. We'll do the Paratech struts before the lumber. It's a lot quicker to get set up. You're dropping that down on red. So shoring does take a little bit of time, but we also have to get moved through it at a, a relatively quick pace um, because there's a potential victim inside or we want to prevent a, a potential uh, additional collapse. All right, rescue vac. So this is an attachment that'll go to a vac truck that we'd get from Lakewood Streets, Jefferson County, and use that to suck up dirt or water uh, for someone that's involved in a trench collapse. So also in this truck, we have several power tools. We have concrete saw, Stanley saw, additional saws to cut more lumber. So oxyacetylene torch, uh, we'll use this for structural collapse, concrete, so we can use it to cut steel, it's embedded in concrete, cut steel uh, I-beams from a, a concrete building. We can use it to cut really you know, anything that we need to, to cut that's metal. Yes, carpeting background certainly helps with structural collapse. We have several guys in the department that are still active in the trades or are former uh, construction people and it certainly helps when they're uh, cutting the lumber, measuring, uh, doing angles on some of the shores. Going high. 